Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today for a brand new pick a card reading. For anyone that is new to the channel, hello and welcome in. My name is Melissa and today's video is going to be looking into what is happening in your love life in October. So what we'll be doing is looking at the month ahead, the month of October, and just looking at the themes, energies, events, situations, or, or people that are prominent in your love life this upcoming month ahead. Um, so let's go ahead and get into some disclaimers. First and foremost, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so some of the messages may resonate quite specifically to you in your situation, while other messages may not. As I always say, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Please don't take it personally or get upset if something in a general YouTube reading isn't specifically fitting your situation. If something is feeling confusing that I'm saying in the reading, then it's probably not your message. If you guys did want to book a personal reading, all the details on how you can do so will be linked in the description box down below. Uh, personal readings are always a much better way to um, get a specific and accurate read to your own personal energy and situation. This is also a time-based reading, you guys, where we're kind of looking ahead into the month of October. So keep in mind that, you know, with predictive style readings, you know, energy is always changing, so the future is not set in stone. Um, everything is really dependent on the actions and the energies that you embody as you go into the month of October. So if you see something predicted out for you in today's video, and it's something that you would wish to change, all you have to do is switch up your actions, switch up your energy, and you can totally create something different for yourself. So never feel stuck to something that a tarot reading is saying. All right, let's go ahead and get into our card selection. We're going to be doing three piles today. Um, starting on the left hand side, we have pile number one. For you guys, we have this little, oh, I wanted to pick it up and show you. You have this little fluorite candy, super cute. For pile number two, we have some orange calcite. And then for pile number three, we have some carolite. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm sure someone will correct me though. <laughs> So I want you guys to go ahead and take a deep breath. Go ahead and select the card or the crystal you're feeling the most intuitively connected to. And once you've made your choice, you can scroll down to the description box to locate the timestamp that will take you to your chosen pile. See you there. Hey there, pile number one. If you guys picked out this fluorite candy, so cute, then this is going to be your reading for the month of October. So we're going to start off by channeling the overall energy of what you guys are moving through in love, and then we're going to be shuffling all the other decks for the most part on camera to really get into the reading. So let's see what your overall energy is. For you guys, we have freedom. Ooh, and we have longing. Very interesting energies. Okay. So there is definitely a connection that's being presented to you guys this month with this longing card coming up. It says someone is secretly yearning for you. So there's somebody out there who I feel is energetically pulling at you guys. The interesting thing about this energy, especially with freedom coming up here, is that I almost feel like you guys are trying to sort of move away from this situation. Like it almost feels like it needs to be like this. <laughs> um, I feel like you guys are wanting to, you're desiring to, or you are in the process of maybe moving away from this situation. I'm really being drawn to this birdcage here and how maybe some of you guys have been feeling a little bit trapped with this person or this situation or this energy, whatever it is. For some of you guys, it may not necessarily be a specific person, but maybe it's just an energy that you guys have been stuck in, a type of energy within a connection that makes you feel makes you feel trapped or an energy in your love life that makes you feel kind of trapped. And so there's like an emphasis here on like freeing yourself from whoever this is or whatever this is that is pulling at you. It might be like a really tempting thing too for some of you guys where like maybe – you also have this pull toward them, um, even though you may know that it's not ultimately good for you. So this is really intriguing. Let's go ahead next and get into um, this new little deck that I got. Uh, this is Amira's Love Oracle for any of you guys that are curious. And just so you guys know, if you ever 
want to know what decks I'm using, they're always listed in the description box. I've been getting some comments lately asking me what decks, and it's like, they're all there for you guys. So let's see. Let's get some more information here for pile number one. <sighs> what is happening for pile number one in their love life this month of October? So we have the mature woman. The beauty queen. Yes. <laughs> And we have passion. Yes. So there is there is control is at the bottom. So this is interesting, you guys. There is definitely a connection this month that you guys are feeling very energetically pulled to, um, especially with this passion card coming up. But what I'm seeing here already is that you guys, I think, are trying to go about this situation with maturity. And I think that this is where this freedom card is coming from. Like, even though there's a lot of this chemistry coming in for your love life with maybe a specific person, I feel like you guys are still trying to, like, keep yourselves out there on the market, make sure that you're not too attached to this situation, really making sure that the situation aligns with your values, and making sure that you're staying in your power, right? Because this energy of control at the bottom, it's it's like... The dynamic that I'm feeling here is almost like an energy of feeling a lot of chemistry with this person, but also maybe knowing on a subconscious level that something about their circumstances or the situation or the dynamics maybe aren't quite what you're looking for or it's not necessarily um, the healthiest dynamic. And so you guys are trying to just remain in your power as you're navigating the situation. Um, I'm going to pull some tarot cards and then we'll get more into the messages, but those are just kind of the initial energies that I'm getting. Um, we are working with the Haunted Mansion Tarot today in the spirit of, you know, it's October, so Halloween coming up. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see. So Spirit, do you guys see the devil card coming up? There's like, yeah, it's like there's this situation that really has like a pull on you guys. <laughs> That's kind of the energy it feels like, the devil energy, like a very tempting situation that is very like indulgent, but like maybe not ultimately what you guys are looking for. So let's clarify these energies. Okay. So we have the six of wands. We have the Magician, and we have the Ten of Cups, aww. We do have Temperance here at the bottom, okay. So let's see. I definitely feel like this is a month in your love life where you guys are vibing really high. I think that you guys are receiving a lot of attention with the Six of Wands and the Magician card here. Regardless of this passionate connection that's coming through really strong, you guys are, I think, highly sought after this month. Um, you're turning a lot of heads this month. I think that there are a lot of people out there who are admiring and adoring you, okay? Um, I feel like you guys are manifesting something with a magician card here. Maybe some of you guys are kind of manifesting this person on a subconscious level, or this person can be manifesting you as you're trying to navigate your love life. But like a lot of times with the magician card for me, especially with it being here with the beauty queen, which is kind of all about being in the spotlight. It's like there's this energy of whatever behavior you're putting out to the public, whatever behavior you're putting out there on the stage, quote unquote, is manifesting in 
connections for you. Maybe this specific person. <laughs> um, so when I say public behavior, that can be for those of you that maybe have like a following on social media, whether it's a big following or you just have like, you know, your friends and family on there. Um, this is very social media energy for me, but then this can also just be maybe some of you guys are like performers, right? This is talking about being on stage, shining. Maybe there's some sort of talent that you guys do that you're very good at that draws a lot of attention your way. So it's like with that magician card here, there's definitely this energy of like attracting people to you, attracting situations to you. I definitely feel with the six of wands as well, like you guys are certainly in the spotlight. You see in this card how like she's like the focal point and she has all of these people surrounding her, right? Um, this card is also sort of talking about going out, being a socialite, connecting with people. So I think a lot of you guys this month may also be getting noticed in your social life, like going out in public, maybe freeing yourself from whatever the cage energy is. Maybe for some of you guys, um, you're just already in a relationship with someone and this is a month where you're kind of focusing more on your, your own personal independence. It may not necessarily be that this is some sort of unhealthy situation, but I could definitely see an energy of like already being in a committed relationship with someone, but wanting to kind of establish some independence and do some of your own things, right? So there's definitely an energy of you guys going out taking the lead, going out, um, having fun, being seen, things like that. But then we come back to this passion energy with the Ten of Cups. So I'm still feeling as though there's this energy of you guys, you know, having someone, maybe like behind the scenes here. Because <laughs> this is like a very... Um, intimate feeling right here. This is a very intimate card of passion. And especially with it being here with the Ten of Cups, it's like this is giving me like that happy family vibes, right? So again, for some of you guys, this may already be like a relationship that you're in, maybe someone that you're married to or have children with or have been in a long-term connection with. For others of you though, this is like kind of the feeling you're getting with this person of like being on cloud nine, you know? I definitely see with this temperance card that you guys are getting out and being social. But temperance is also talking about being patient and it's about allowing things to happen in divine timing. It's also about kind of learning how to combine opposite energies, right? And so maybe that's kind of, I feel like that's also kind of the undertone of what's happening here this month for you guys is like, because there's an energy of wanting to be free, but then there's also an energy of being drawn into this situation and this person, right? So I think that this month is going to be sort of about like the balance of having your independence and freedom while also having this passionate connection. I wanted to say like the passionate connection. I keep feeling like it's behind the scenes for some reason. So maybe for some of you guys, this connection isn't something that has been shared to the world yet. <laughs> I don't know. So let's see. I'm going to pull a few more of these and then we'll close it out with an advice card from the Halloween Oracle. So what else is happening for pile number one in love this month? Ooh. So we have love and lace, innocence. See, it's like, I do feel that there's there's like this because the mature woman is really talking about like integrity and values and like looking at the situation from a mature perspective, right? Um, there's a lot of passionate, fiery energy this month. And then we have the love and lace, which is about innocence. So it's like I do think that there is with temperance this balancing act that needs to happen between like the passionate side and then the pure side, right? Let's see. Casanova. That's exactly what I'm feeling, guys. Like, you guys are definitely being swept off your feet by someone this month. And there's a lot of, like, I don't know if there's resistance to it or hesitancy on your part. Like, because the feeling I'm channeling right now is that this feels very good. 
it feels like you guys are very pulled into this situation. Like it's a very um, passionate energy. But I'm also feeling this conflict within me of like, is this really the right situation for me? You know, do I need to really put all my eggs into this basket, right? Like there's sort of like maybe an underlying red flag for you about something with this situation. Maybe this person already has a family for some of you. I don't know. Like we also have violets are blue loyalty. And maybe this is kind of something that you guys are examining this month of like, is this person loyal? Is this situation going to be true to me? You know what I mean? This is really interesting, pile number one. So the last card that we're going to close out your reading with is from the Halloween Tarot. And this is going to be kind of like your message of advice. And for you guys, we have the zombie. <laughs> oh my gosh, control. Didn't we have? Yeah, look at this. We did have a card of control that came up earlier. That's really interesting. So I think the message of advice is very clear, you guys, because we think of a zombie. What's the issue with the zombie? Well, it's that the body is being controlled by something else, right? This creepy virus or however they get infected. Right? <laughs> so I think that the message is about remaining in your power as you navigate this situation, remembering that you're always the one that's in control of you. You cannot control the other person, but you can control you. So I think it's going to be very important to be very self-aware of your feelings and emotions around the situation, making sure that you, maybe you're not getting totally lost in this situation. If you feel like something's a little off or not completely in alignment with what you're looking for, um, there's also a message here on this card that talks about release too, right? So maybe there's an energy here of needing to release something or release the need to control the situation and just kind of let it play out how it will. But, you know, the control message with the zombie card, it's kind of, there's a couple things like how this can pertain to relationships, right? You know, um, this could be a message for some of you guys to kind of think about like what types of people you're picking. Um, you know, like are you picking people that you know subconsciously you're going to have control over? Not saying you guys are like controlling or bad or anything like that. What I mean is more so like sometimes we might pick a specific type of energy because we feel like safe with that energy in the sense that we don't have to be vulnerable with that energy. Do you get do you guys get what I mean like it's almost like kind of self-sabotaging your love life by picking the type of person that you know is kind of like not what you're looking for so you don't have to fully open up to them. Do you guys get what I mean like so there might be some self-reflection that needs to be done there. You know, around like your level of emotional availability in these connections and like how you're choosing them. It also can be vice versa too. That same example that maybe you guys are kind of attracting in people who aren't completely available to give you what you want and maybe looking at where that's coming from. But either way, this definitely feels like a very spicy month ahead in your love life pile, number one. And I think the good thing is it does feel like you guys have a high level of discernment here and self-awareness. So even though there's a lot of this exciting energy and this like um, passionate energy that feels really good, I think that you guys are coming across as being very in control of what's going on here. So <laughs> I would love to hear from you in the comments how you feel it resonates with you and your upcoming situation. So please drop me a comment down below and let me know. Uh, if you guys are not already, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. This way you are notified when I upload new videos. And I do look forward to seeing you guys in a new reading really soon. Bye. Hey, pile two, if you guys picked out this little orange calcite, this is going to be your love reading for the month of October. So we're going to start by channeling the overall energy of your love life this month, and then we're going to move into all the other decks shuffled on camera. So for you guys, we have spark and we have true love. So already off to a great start for pile two this says this love is emotional physical and unconditional which i love that for you so definitely there's a connection here that is highly significant to your month this month it feels like we're gonna see we're gonna get more info 
there's chemistry here with someone. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of sparks. You guys also did pick an orange calcite. So this could be a connection where you guys are having a lot of fun together, doing a lot of fun things, kind of going with the flow, really enjoying um, one another's company. Um, I'm also getting a message for some of you guys that there is maybe an evaluation happening this month around long lasting love because the spark card, you know, like a lot of times when we have like these passionate chemistry filled connections, um, they can burn out really quickly. Right. So I'm also getting a message for some of you guys that there's something around longevity that's being evaluated this month. Um, is this a long lasting connection? Is this something that you can see yourselves really going the distance with or someone you see yourselves going the distance with? Is the passion enduring? Right. So I want to get some more info here for pile two. So what is happening in their love life this month, please? For some of you guys, this could actually just be something you're manifesting this month or focusing on, maybe calling in true love through doing fun things. So let's see. So we have the courting man. Yay! <laughs> Okay, we have the career card. That's interesting. And we have control. We also have the young male at the bottom. So there's a lot of masculine energy coming up for your reading, pile number two. So maybe you guys, my viewer, are more in your masculine energy this month. Or this could also just be talking about a masculine energy of significance in your life. Um, I think with the young male, though, at the bottom, what this is really giving me is kind of echoing that energy of the calcite, right? The orange calcite of like trying to infuse a more fun and lighthearted energy into your love life this month. So whether or not you are already in a committed relationship with someone or you are single and trying to kind of get out there and date, this is just about infusing more fun and excitement into your love life, doing more fun activities together. If you guys are single and you're going on dates, like this could be an energy of, you know, doing fun dates instead of just doing like boring Netflix and chill and stuff like that. You know what I mean? We also have messages of sports and cars coming up here. So there could be some activities that are more like sporty in nature. Maybe there's someone here that's really into cars that's showing up for you. But it definitely feels like this is a month where you guys are kind of getting out there and connecting with someone. I want to pull some clarifiers here from the tarot first. Um, and then we will get into the full vibe here. But if you guys are curious, I am working with the Haunted Mansion Tarot. And if you guys are ever wondering what decks I'm using, they're always linked in, into the description box. So you can always... Check there if you're curious to know which ones I'm using in every reading. Okay, so we have the chariot. More car energy coming through. <laughs> Let's see. The Ace of Cups. Oop. Hold on. And we have the Nine of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Cups, or Four of uh, Wands, sorry. And that Four of Wands, you know, it's kind of creepy looking, but. Typically, this card kind of talks about like marriage and um, I don't know, like home life with someone, kind of building a life together. So that could definitely be a significant theme for some of you guys this month. Okay, so let's see. What am I, what are we channeling here for pile number 
too. I think here, pulling this card up and seeing this Knight of Pentacles, I think that there's an undertone here of knowing that like, you know, remember how I was saying I'm kind of picking up on some sort of evaluation energy here? The Knight of Pentacles is going to be the type of energy that takes their time, you know? So while I do think that there is passion and chemistry that you guys are experiencing with someone, I think for some of you, especially if you're single and this is like a new person, um, I do think that there's an awareness here of wanting to kind of enjoy things, but also be practical and take things slow. I'm also getting a strong message that for some of you guys, someone you're connecting with might be at work because we do have the message of career coming up here. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles here. And you guys also have the Courting Man here, which talks about a professional male. So some of you guys may actually be meeting this person or dating someone from work. And if they're not from your specific workplace, um, this is somebody who is very career focused. Um, so the Courting Man, let's kind of start off over here. This is talking about somebody who is pursuing you, talking about somebody who is asking you out on dates. This could be somebody who is like a man in uniform. So think of all the different examples of what that could be, right? Somewhat like military, police, fire. I mean, they're like, there's so many types of jobs out there where someone wears a uniform, okay? So use your imagination. It could be any of the, those things. This also, though, talks about a professional male. So this this could be like more of like that, you know, businessman, businessman finance bro. I don't know, like <laughs> just like the description of what I'm getting. So just take it as it resonates with you. Um, some of you guys, this could actually be your energy as well, especially if I know that I do have some um, men that watch my channel. So if you're a man watching this and you pick pile two, this is actually, I feel like your energy of being the courting man. So what this is talking about is somebody who's going out and asking someone out on dates, someone that's planning things, um, somebody who's steady with their planning, um, somebody who, you know, theoretically, this is a person who being a professional, a working professional, they understand how to honor and uphold their commitments because this is someone that's like very driven and motivated in their business life, right? With the chariot card being here, again, I'm getting car energy. So there's something here about cars for someone out there. Um, but I, I'm getting like someone that's like really wanting to take you guys out on proper dates because you see how we have this man, this is like a very formal kind of like I'm getting like rich person vibes from this, like, <laughs> like someone who is getting car service for you, you know, taking you out on nice dates. I'm getting an energy of someone who um, is just really wanting to cater to you and show you the proper courting experience, right? The chariot card is also talking about being very focused on the goal. So with the courting man being here, I see this as a person, whether this is you, my viewer, or a person you're dealing with, this is somebody coming into your life who knows what they want, right? They have their eye on the prize. They know what it is that they want in business and in love. And I feel like they are aligning their actions in a way um, to show you this, right? So this guy is somebody that's probably wanting a relationship. That's the vibe I'm getting from it. So he's going to put forth the effort to date you in a way that gets him to that result, ultimately. We also do have career here. So again, for some of you guys, this is talking about meeting this person at work or through your work in some way. Uh, whereas for others of you, I do feel that this could be an energy of your work coming through. So for some of you guys that chose pile number two, you have things going on in your love life, but I also think that there might be a lot of emphasis on career for you this month. This is not a career reading, so I'm not going to go too deep into that, but it is here. So it's something that you guys want to just kind of be mindful of. I will say, though, for the majority of you, it definitely feels like this is really tied into whoever this courting man situation is. And with the Ace of Cups, this is beautiful energy because this is all about like new love, you guys. Like, kind of going back to the message of true love, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional, right? So this is a new beginning in love for a lot of you guys. Um, you might be feeling really strong feelings for this person. There's a lot of love in between the both of you. Um, and this is talking all about like how now that we feel this beautiful love, we're building on this. You know, how are we building on it to make it more long-term? 
Now, the one thing that's kind of interesting that I'm seeing here with the message of control is this is talking about releasing or taking your power back. So for some of you guys, I feel like there could be a little bit of a struggle here to really flow into this or to really lean back and trust um, this person to take care of you. And maybe there's good reason for that. You guys are going to know your situation better than mine, uh, better than I will. Um, maybe you guys are the type of person that's used to having to be the one that's in this energy. And now you finally have, you know, like a masculine or somebody coming into your life that's kind of embodying that the energy of taking the lead in the connection. So it might be something that's a little bit hard for you to let go of. Um, but I'm feeling like if you guys are able to let go of needing to control the situation, you're going to end up getting everything that you want <laughs> with the Nine of Cups. You know, like I think this is about being okay with letting somebody else take the lead. Um, let them spoil you. You know what I mean? Let them do it. You deserve it, right? So let's get a few more cards here and then we'll close it out with some advice. What else does pile number two need to know about their love life this month? Okay, so we have old footage coming out here. That's interesting. I think that you guys are needing to let go of the past because this doesn't feel, I mean, this feels like new love to me for a lot of you guys. And I think that this energy of the control is something from the past that you're needing to like let go of. Whether it's maybe you guys already have a past with this person or maybe it's just other situations from your past are still lingering around or the energies are still lingering for you. Like you got to let go of the way things were before because I feel like this is something new and better for you. That's more in alignment with what it is that you're wanting. I, do, I definitely see with the satin sheets, there's a lot of chemistry again. There's a lot of passion with this connection. Let's see. Oh God. Okay. Hold on. Just want one card, please. We have the fool's gold. Look at this though. We also have true love. Roses are red. So listen, I think there is something here for you guys. Again, you're examining longevity with this person. Fool's gold is another like term for pyrite, you know what I mean? Um, which is a beautiful crystal. I think though in this case, maybe what's going on here for you guys is wondering if this is like too good to be true in a sense or wondering if there's something dishonest going on here that you're not being totally aware of because, you know, fool's gold is sort of like, you know, it's not real gold. Right. So I think there's a questioning in your mind this month of like, is this really the real thing or is this person really showing me just like a shiny image of like what they want me to think they are? You know what I mean? Um, so I still think that there's like, you guys are going to know depending on your situation, right? Like always follow your intuition. I'm not specifically seeing anything bad here, but I'm also tapping into general energies. So Maybe for some of you guys, this is the kind of situation where you feel that this person is trying to like manipulate you to get something that they want um, and you feel like something might be a little off, right? Um, listen to your intuition if you feel like that's the truth. But I think for a lot of you guys watching pile number two, I feel more like this energy over here is the stuff that you guys need to like let go of because um, I do feel like there is some sort of lingering wound from the past or something from your past that you could potentially be projecting onto this person. You see how this is a projector here? <laughs> you know, there's something you're projecting onto this person because of something in your past. And there's a need here to let it go. So let's look at your advice for the month and then we'll close this out. So for you guys, we have the skull of light illumination. Beautiful. So I think that this is a month where you guys need to really practice allowing yourself to be fully seen, okay? I think you guys need to practice being vulnerable and, again, letting go. Don't hold on to stuff from the past. Um, this card is really talking about, like, 
immersing yourself in the situation, um, allowing yourself to be fully seen, fully see this person for who they are, right? For some of you that are picking up on maybe your situation, there's something a little off here and you know that in your intuition, the skull of light is saying this is the month where this is going to be illuminated for you. You're going to see it for what it truly is. There's two, there's kind of like two groups for this reading. So you guys are going to know hopefully which one is meant for you. If something feels off, this is the month where this is going to be illuminated very clearly for you and you guys need to listen to it. But if this is more about baggage from your past, this is about releasing that stuff and really allowing yourself to dive into this connection and be vulnerable without trying to control it um, to protect yourself. So looks like a very interesting and spicy month ahead for you, Pile 2. So I would love to hear kind of how you feel it resonates um, in the comments. So please drop me a note and let me know. If you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. This way you guys are notified when I upload new videos. And I do look forward to seeing you in a new reading very soon. Bye. Hey, pile three. If you guys picked this beautiful little purple cube, this is going to be your reading. I could never pronounce the name of that crystal, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I tried to in the intro, but I know that I butchered it. So let's go ahead and look into for your love life this month, kind of starting off with the overall energies, and then we'll get into the rest of your cards here um, shuffled on camera. So for pile three, we have the message of passion. And we also have go slow. So definitely some sort of like opposing energies coming up here for you guys. So the first thing I'm seeing is that there's definitely um, a connection that's being presented here to you this month for most of you. Um, something that is feeling very, very passionate. So you may have a lot of chemistry with this person. I think for some of you guys, this could be a very physical connection, like right off the jump. Um, I feel like this person is highly, highly attracted to you, whoever they are. Um, but there's also sort of a an energy here of knowing that we need to kind of take our time. So that can sometimes be kind of hard when we have these really passionate feelings for someone to then sort of temper those passionate feelings and ground ourselves into taking things slow. But there's definitely a message here about taking the time to get to know each other. So Let's kind of unpack this a little bit more and see what else you guys need to know. We're going to um, start off with some of these Oracle cards and then we will go into the tarot. So let's go ahead and see what's happening for pile number three in love this month of October. All right, so you guys have karma. Interesting. We'll see kind of how that breaks down. We have brunette female. And we have passion. So that is definitely the case. We also have the dark male at the bottom of the deck. So this could be like a physical description of someone um, that you guys might be dealing with. That's probably not going to apply to everyone out there. Um, but this person could have darker features or like darker hair, darker eyes, things like that. Um, but again, that's gonna that's not gonna be resonant to everyone. So let's grab some tarot cards next. I definitely see though that you guys have. There's definitely um, for sure a lot of passion and chemistry within this connection. And I do feel that there's this intensity here with the brunette female coming up. So again, just like with this card right here, this could be like a physical description of someone, whether it's you, my viewer, or someone that you guys might be dealing with. There's definitely um, an energy of like darker features coming in with both of these cards. So whether again, it's dark hair, dark eyes, darker complexion, something like that is coming through with both of those cards. But this card also has a couple of other messages of being intense and focused. So there's definitely a very like intense magnetic connection here between you and this person where one or both of you is really intently focused on it. I also think though that for some of you guys, again, even though there's this energy of passion and chemistry, 
This card also talks about being very focused on what it is that you ultimately want. And so I think this is where we have the going slow card here because I do think that you guys are trying to be aware of the big picture and like longevity versus just short term fun. And it's kind of interesting with the karma card coming up here because this is talking about a toxic story or it talks about new opportunities. So I'm kind of feeling like depending on how you choose to navigate this connection, it can go one of two ways, right? There's kind of like this energy of knowing that going too fast or rushing into this, you may end up repeating a lesson that you've already learned. Whereas maybe if we choose a different path, a different approach to the situation, a new door can open up for you. So let's let's just clarify here. <laughs> What's going on? Ooh, okay. This one flew out. I'm going to put it back in because it doesn't feel... I don't think that's it. So let's see. Clarifying these energies. So what's happening in love this month for pile three? Five of swords. We have the empress card. And then we have the high priestess. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Page of Cups. So there are feelings here. There's definitely like crush energy or maybe even just like beginning stages of connecting with someone new if you guys are single. Um, it's interesting too because like there's a lot of feminine energy coming up in this reading with the, especially with the Empress card. So some of you guys may actually be like connecting with a feminine or leaning more into your feminine energy this month. Again, I know I was saying in pile two that I, I know that I have some men that watch my channel. So some of you guys, um, this could be this feminine energy could be someone that you guys are connecting with. Um, but kind of dialing here first to the Empress card, clarifying the brunette female, I do feel like for my viewers, this is a month where you guys are really trying to, there's a lot of energy of leaning back, right? Leaning back into your feminine energy. And this is sort of where the going slow is coming from, right? Like maybe instead of in the past, um, trying to like control the situation or rushing into the situation, there's like a concerted effort here to enjoy the chemistry that you're feeling, but to also just receive, right? receive versus having to give, 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 or receive and lean back versus taking a lot of action or pushing forward with your own energy, right? I also think that you guys, however you identify or like whatever your situation is, I think that you guys are focused on the big picture of what you want to create for yourself with this Empress card. Some of you guys may know that you want to have children one day. Um, some of you guys may know that you want to get married one day, have a wife, a husband, whatever. And so I do think that with this brunette female coming in, there is definitely a level of discernment that you are exercising as you move through this connection. Um, really being mindful of what it is that you ultimately want. I also think too with this Empress card coming up that you guys may be also working on setting boundaries in your love life, um, healthy boundaries, like learning that it's okay to be compassionate and caring and nurturing, but knowing also when to sort of um, – put up that healthy boundary, right? For lack of a better word. Maybe this group has had challenges in the past with people kind of like taking advantage of them. You know, like maybe that's the karma here. The karmic situation is like, you guys know that people are going to be drawn and attracted to you because of your compassionate and nurturing energy. And this person, whoever this is, this is a very physical connection. Like this person is physically attracted to you. Like that's coming through incredibly strong and you are to them. Um, but I do think that there is an opportunity with this person to go through the new door instead of repeating a lesson from the past. So again, with the High Priestess card here, this is a very passionate connection. And 
I do kind of wonder if there's an air of mystery to this connection as well that kind of draws you guys in, right? Like maybe that's part of what makes this connection so alluring is that like you don't quite have it all the way figured out just yet. <laughs> but I definitely see that this is going to be a month where you are enjoying it. Like I feel it's positive feelings that you're feeling, but also exercising that level of discernment here. Um, five of Swords. It's kind of interesting that that's coming up underneath of the Karma card because maybe... I'm also getting a message here for some of you guys about like either competitive energy being a lesson that you're learning through relationships or um, being able to be vulnerable, one or both, um, or one or the other. The Five of Swords is kind of like an unnecessarily competitive energy where it's like kind of ambitious and sometimes like kind of cutthroat. Like we are not even really realizing who we're hurting through wanting to achieve whatever goal we're going after. Um, The other thing with the Five of Swords with vulnerability is kind of like, you know, this is sort of that energy of not really letting your guard down. You know, kind of like instead of being vulnerable and just telling someone how you're feeling, you pretend like you're not feeling that or you try to put on a front, right? And so because of this, you're sort of like losing. You're losing out on the opportunity to really be seen and heard. So for some of you guys, maybe the lesson with vulnerability is about like setting boundaries like we were talking about. You know, maybe that was something you guys really struggled with in the past with the karma card coming up. Like maybe you guys were too afraid to speak up um, about how you were feeling about something, too afraid to set a boundary, too afraid to call out bad behavior when you saw it. You know, so if there are some, some energies that come up with this person that feel familiar that you know you've experienced before in the past, this is going to be a new opportunity here for you to kind of um, level up, right? Speak your truth, set the boundary, to not repeat that pattern, to be vulnerable. So let's pull a few more cards here and then we'll get into your closing message. What else should Pile 3 know about their love life? this month ahead in October. We have spring. So yeah, new opportunity, new beginning. <laughs> An opportunity to make a different choice. To welcome some fresh energy into your love life. We also have love language, deep connection. So you guys may actually have a really, there's passionate energy here. There's chemistry. And I think a lot of this is coming from the communication with this person. You guys also with the Page of Cups, there could be a lot of really loving communication, um, sweet text messages, DMs, things like that being exchanged this month. It definitely feels that there is sort of like an intellectual aspect to this conversation or to this person's connection as well. And then we have stars aligned, favorable outcome. Yeah, so kind of with that coming up over that high priestess card, I definitely think that you guys are just sort of, again, leaning back and observing, leaning back and like kind of allowing things to happen the way that they're supposed to. I definitely think that you guys are kind of like doing a good job this month of releasing control and just, you know, practicing setting your boundaries, taking your time to just talk and experience this person and enjoy this person in the moment for what it is. You guys also do have mine at the bottom, possessiveness. So there is a little bit of that possessive energy coming through either from you or from this person. Not necessarily that saying that's a bad thing, but I think it's just kind of coming along with this passion, this chemistry that you're experiencing. So let's close you out pile three with a message of advice. And for you guys, we do have the jack-o'-lantern, which says protection. So yeah, I mean, I think this ties in really well with the message about boundaries that we were covering because, you know, the jack-o'-lantern card is all about like, I want to say in the guidebook, uh, let me double check, but I want to say in the guidebook, this talks about like the history of the jack-o'-lantern and how they used to like set it out um, as like a protection sort of thing. 
let me just skim this really quick. Yeah, it's like lanterns were intended to be both scary, scaring off the undesirable, and to light the way in the dark. Ooh. So that's interesting, you guys, because it's the message is twofold, right? It is about setting boundaries, but I think it's also about illuminating yourself to this other person through letting your guard down, right? Um, the five of swords is that energy that gets really murky because it's like we don't really fully understand where someone's coming from, how they feel, what they're thinking, because they're putting up that front or putting up a wall, um, not expressing who they truly are from the heart. And so I think for you guys, it's going to be really important to turn that light on for the other person. Let them know how you feel, whether it's positive or something that you are afraid they're going to receive poorly. You need to be honest about what you're thinking and feeling so that they can fully understand and hopefully meet you where you are. And if you are expressing yourself to this person and you speak your truth about a concern you have or whatever, and they run away after that, then it's on them. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> essentially then the protection aspect of that jack-o'-lantern comes into play where like you, you know, you're going to repel that which is not for you. Does that make sense? So Pile three, this looks like a very exciting month ahead in love. I would love to hear from you in the comments how you felt it resonates with your situation. So please drop me a note down below and let me know. If you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. This way you are aware of when I'm uploading new content. And I do look forward to seeing you in a new reading very soon. Bye.